Wouldn't it be nice if all of my data, tools, and resources were available in one place, and I didn't spend half of my project resources trying to access the data I need, or I didn't need to be a computer wizard to integrate different data into my project? In 2014, ESA launched the Thematic Exploitation Platforms, or TEPs, to address precisely these concerns. Coastal organizations no longer need to develop tools for sourcing data or data storage. Coastal TEP will enable automatic monitoring and early warning systems for pollution discharges, harmful algal blooms, and storm surges. So the really cool thing about the Coastal TEP is its potential to mobilize huge quantities of coastal information which is currently locked in Earth observation data. Users of Coastal TEP can easily compare data sets over a common area or period of interest, creating long-term analyses and monitoring capabilities. Forestry TEP will offer on-the-fly processing capabilities based on Copernicus and other satellite data. Forestry TEP is a one-stop shop for everyone involved in forest ecosystem monitoring and sustainable forest management. Eh, la idea de poner una plataforma de información forestal, una plataforma de información en donde podamos tener información reciente, información histórica, información de los análisis forestales que estamos haciendo actualmente, se vuelve fundamental para la correcta toma de decisiones. Easy to use push button functionalities provide simple value added products such as forest maps and vegetation indices. The Geohazards TEP is already being used by more than 20 geoscience or risk management organizations. Satellites help model the physics of earthquakes, volcanoes, landslides, subsidence. The Geohazards TEP gives direct access to vast collections of satellite images and innovative processing change for geohazard monitoring and disaster prevention. Exploitation of big data goes far beyond the resources of individual users. HydroTEP tackles major challenges faced by water management users dealing with big data, such as diversity of data sources, volume of data, different data formats. Users can easily create extensive time series analyses for mapping the frequency of floods and droughts and monitoring water productivity over large river basins and entire continents. HydroTEP encourages ever greater participation of the user community. Satellite data have greatly advanced the modeling and monitoring of change in the polar regions. Earth observation has a unique role in the polar regions, providing the only source of consistent, repeatable, year-round and wide area coverage information. Polar TEP enables users to access and exploit this information to support their operations in science as efficiently as possible. The Polar TEP is open to scientific researchers, industry, local indigenous populations, and regional and national governments. By the year 2050, the number of people on the planet is estimated to reach 9 billion, and 70% of those people will be living in cities. Urban TEP enables development banks and urban planners to benefit from the extensive information contained in satellite data for infrastructure planning. The Urban TEP will provide a tremendous service to all of us working with the world's cities. Where are the slums? And where are the new areas? Is there enough space for parks? playgrounds and streets. Urban TEP unlocks the information contained in satellite data and makes it available to the non-expert user. 